So yeah, we're gonna clean the bumper up. I think we can save this one. Yeah, we can fix it. I want him to be, you know. We can fix it. I want to okay. And then, uh, but this is the big thing that concerns me for the looks right here. Is, is that thick metal right there? Yeah, for this is rusty. We can take it out, remove all these, and we can fix. How much? Is really expensive, like Franco's car? Mm. I don't think so. That one is less. Uh, Franco is too much rust. But that one is no, not really rust, it's like a damage, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, right there is painted as out, and the, uh, and the rust is coming, but it's not really bad. Dude, they did a really good job already. Fixing some of the rust spots, the dent's almost out, pretty much flush with the bumper. Yeah, that bumper is very easily saved. Amazing. After waiting for the paint to cure properly, Juan from Auto Appearance Center picked up my car for the final buffing and ceramic coating. He knocked it out of the park, guys. I can't believe it. The new paint job has become a new car. Oh my god, I'm messing up the filming so I'm so excited. Rocker panel, quarter panel, door, everything. Fender liners don't fit perfectly, which not Juan's fault or, or the other shop. Just uh, wanted to save some cash. Headlights look fantastic. Front bumper. The big Honda logo is back compared to the small. Looks like a brand new 03. It's like it was dipped in glass, man. This is fantastic. Gonna condition the soft top, but hey, put that in the next video. Juan just showed me the interior, but apparently he did the uh, engine bay too. No way. Let's see. Shift boot and everything. Look at that. Very good. <laughs> so we just picked up the AP1 from Franco's place. There wasn't a lot of room at the shop, so we're taking it back. Gonna do the uh, uh, clock spring and the rear ABS sensor. And then I have some more good news, so let's get it over there. Still feeling some rattling, but it's pretty good otherwise. Following Franco there, he pulled ahead, but uh, it's all in one piece. Now they're starting to wear off. Brand new cover, but the moisture did it. Maybe I can oil it. Few rattles, few shakes, but I think that's just the suspension. Hopefully the new axles are, you know, close enough and matching and maybe the alignment can be touched up. But I definitely felt some rattles and uh, almost some bangs. That's just the shift knob now, but also under load, it feels a little different. So maybe an idle relearn will help. 2000 S. Yeah, that's what I bought. You're not looking at it backwards. <laughs> They're gonna fix that. But the uh, quarter panel looks fantastic. Even after a few days and then bad light. Really gotta touch up around here. Soft top, get that oiled. And then the back plastics will be done. Thanks Frank over helping me out, man. Both in the same spot. So for one light bulb, so you could get around 400, right? 400. Just one bulb is like, you could you could sell it for 200. 
Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to sell those lights. Well, I got a call from Weiss that he has the uh, JDM lights. I got to clean them up, but I think I can do it pretty much for an even trade for the price he offered me. What do you think, Franco? Think that's a good move? Yeah, I got the... I'll do the APU2 repaint, and then I'll have it looking as clean as this guy right here. Can't wait. So my shift knob has been rattling a lot, and I was going to look for some kind of washer or maybe cut some piece of plastic like this... Uh, Water bottle cap, but look what I just found. I guess it's for some kind of key. Somewhat rubber-like. If I trim that, put it on the bottom, it's a little bit smaller than the bottom of this. Uh, it should stay in place and keep the uh, knob from rattling until I can replace it, so look at that. So I put the remaining uh, pieces of rubber or whatever that material was, I cut some up, put it inside, put that there. I think we're in shape. It could be a little bit more this way, but I think it's the rubber compresses, it'll uh, line up a little better, but so far so good. It's holding pretty tight. I went to the bank to withdraw cash for the JDM headlights, but you know what? I know what you're thinking. Every time I do a video with the AP-1, there's some major setback and I get it. It seems like it must all be scripted or something, but in all seriousness, yet again, disaster struck. I had to run to the bank, wanted to drive the AP-1 because it's just around town, and uh, now it won't drive. Engine runs fine, but in gear it just clunks. So I think uh, the diff came undone, the diff from the drive shaft came detached, and, or uh, or the diff went bad, which I doubt because I wasn't driving it hard, plus it was really sudden. So my gut is the diff. I'm going to take it over to Acceleration Automotive because they're close and they're friends of mine and they can uh, look at it for me, so I'll keep you posted.